The Freedom From Religion Foundation scored a huge, unanimous victory for state church separation and for 22 families in Chino Valley, California this week. We stopped a public school board from imposing prayer on other people's children. I now reconvene to the regular meeting of the Board of Education. So this school board has essentially been taken over by a local megachurch. And between the Bible readings they had, now I make known to you, brethren, the gospel which I preached to you, which also you received. The proselytizing. So I would really urge everyone that who does not know Jesus Christ, go find him. And the prayers. Lord, our country is uh, just uh, uh, making some big mistakes these days. Lord, we pray for your mercy. The school board meetings resembled something more like a church service. So back in 2014, we sued the school board after asking them nicely to stop all these problematic issues. They declined and we ended up in court. We had a n whole bunch of people want to join the lawsuit and we won at the district court level because it turns out you can't use a public office to promote your personal religion. You can't use the machinery of the state to impose religion on other people's kids. And that's what the district court said and that was appealed by the school board all the way up to the Ninth Circuit and the panel that we had of three judges unanimously held that the school board could not use its public positions to impose religion on other people. This is a much bigger victory than people might realize for two reasons. One, because in 2014 the Supreme Court actually said that prayer at local city council meetings was okay and school boards had taken that as a signal that they could start praying all across the country, which we knew wasn't the case and the Supreme Court said was not the case. Uh, so this actually kind of puts a stop on the advancement of state church violations. And um, the second big reason is because we're upholding the First Amendment and any time that can be done, it's a great thing for every American citizen. This case cost the school district $200,000 at the district court level, probably about the same for the appeal. That's $400,000 that could be much better spent by a public school district. At the Freedom From Religion Foundation, this is what we do. We fight to uphold the First Amendment, and that protects all citizens, not just the 22 plaintiffs in this case, not just atheists and agnostic and non-religious Americans. It protects us all, no matter what we believe. <laughs>